there was actually a life before the internet, which may be difficult for some people to understand, but also it was actually there. But just to sort of create the atmosphere and share with you what it's like for technology change, you know, before the internet, we would communicate as we do today, speaking to each other, exchanging ideas, exchanging. There was even life before Google, which I, which I know is hard today for us all to just do basic things, like find the address to get here today, which we all probably Googled. But you know, technology is affecting everyone. And that is the point about just simple things we take for granted have a massive massive infrastructure behind them, a massive amount of money behind them, and a massive amount of intellectual capital to make technology seem very simple. There was actually life in social media, so we're all sitting there. It's very, very important isn't it, for us to tell each other what we're eating at the dinner table with people we don't know, posting something which we'll probably never eat, but at that time, it is the most important thing in the world. But technology is moving and bringing things which used to seem, and maybe still are, not relevant or could be relevant to you. I find this hard to believe. There was even life before Netflix, you know, before you're lying in bed at night wondering, shall I watch this program? And then a half an hour later, shall I watch it? Half an hour later, shall I actually do it? You know, people used to sit in rooms and look at a TV screen for hours on one couch, one small couch, watching the same programs. The technology has enabled us to do different things in different points of our life, different places, and enable a social interaction with the technology. But what does it enable us to do in business? So that's social, it's a bit of fun, you know, it's, it's what makes it all fun. You know, most people are on Facebook, most people have social media interactions. In a business perspective, the relationship between the internet, private networking, technology has expanded. You probably heard from some people earlier who I've known who are colleagues and actually leaders of technology within the financial services sector explain to you what it actually means. But the internet basically is to communicate and share information over distance. Our business tries to reduce the distance, tries to reduce the transaction time of that communication, whatever it may be. But that's the premise of why the internet exists. It came out of um, the US Army in the 1950s and has developed ever since. So when we were doing the research and we were looking into the relationship of technology at a high level, and then we'll go back to America, that's where the internet came from. Back in the 1960s, the biggest companies in the world, as we all know, lots of people have cars, we all need um, oil and gas, you know, we all need power, electric. These are classic, classical businesses, organizational structured businesses with people going to offices, manufacturing plants, high intensive labor, you know, that was the way it was after the Industrial Revolution. Companies like Ford, General Motors were very classic businesses. You would produce something, an output, a car, something you could kick, touch. It, it was a tangible output. That was back in the 60s. And then, actually, 25, nearly 25 years later, it's still the same companies. Change is taking time. It is quite slow, actually. You know, the internet is out there. Not, you know, people use it. Some people use it. Nothing much is really happening. Yeah? But there's one notable, one notable name which has just arrived. IBM, a tech company. So from these classical businesses which are producing actual tangible outputs becomes a tech company. And why is that relevant? Well, actually, if we, if we go forward a little bit, 27 years later, 2016, well, it's actually IBM's no longer there, but these are some of the largest brands in America today. These are some, these companies are existing. They're technology businesses. They are changing the way that we interact with each other. They are changing the very essence of how we do business and what it means to do business. And as a technology firm which, in, which invests in people and technology, 
we embrace these changes with these companies. You know, Uber is the world's biggest taxi company, but owns not one car. Is that the future? Microsoft, one of the world's biggest cloud companies, wasn't a cloud company five years ago. The rate of change which is impacting at this level is significant. And it is significant without the within the financial services sector as we see as a provider to the financial services sector. You know, all tech companies, Amazon, the biggest retailer in the world. You could argue, is it a retailer or is it a technology business? How do they actually build their business to sell their products? Has anyone ever seen a shop, Amazon shop? You know, 25 years ago, there were things called high streets. People would go to them and they would buy products and services. The relationship between us and the technology is enabling the internet to power companies if it's used properly. T technology and telecom. So we're a provider to many companies around the world, and we invest in our network and telecoms. But how, do, how are these things actually being powered? What is the internet? What is enable a, a technology which can empower your business? That's what it is, well, part of it. That is uh, the world, obviously. And connecting up there are fiber optic, sea cables, land cables, pushing a huge amount of data. These cable systems are connected into things called data centers, which are then pushing huge amount of data, storing data, hotels, if you like, data room hotels. These types of things. So when you think, what is technology? Well, it's everywhere, but actually physically, that is very important for what is the internet. That is the internet at a physical <coughs> layer. And these, the internet is communicating all the time with these huge infrastructure cable systems, connecting into these data centers. And what we see is the need for companies to be appreciative of the technology which is available to make a business change and keep up with the markets, whatever the market may be. But what does it mean for you with your career, your opportunity, whatever you want to do? Always consider change of what things adapt, what you want to do. But I believe that what you also want to put into your considerations for your career is technology and what it can do and what it and how it can appreciate and how it can change your career path very quickly and what sort of opportunities it can create. So, you know, as we're, as we're doing the presentation, we're going through and I was sharing with you, you know, Airbnb, Uber, you know, five years ago, I saw Uber's a bit, a bit older than that, but you know, these brands or these names weren't really out there. Who will be up there in the future? I don't know, but if I was you and I was looking at my career, I would be considering technology and the change of technology, the appreciation and the relationship between business and technology as a very important factor because it's moving at a rate and a speed that it's never been before. And I think that from the financial services sector perspective, they're an early adopter of nearly every technology. John mentioned blockchain. The financial services sector has the intellect and the knowledge and the experience to integrate and adopt technology. Some, and I will use the retail sector as an example, failed to adopt. And then what you see is you see major companies like Amazon come in, take the market share because they were able to recognize what an opportunity was of adopting different types of technology. You know, and I think these are interesting, especially if you're in a technology business like we are, they're interesting uh, discussion points because it's practically what we talk about every day. Well, for me, that's just my closing argument, which is I think you should consider technology as something for the future, but also I wish you well with your career. Thank you.